After I'd exposed a DNA molecule to ultrasound, I noticed something that stupefied me. You see, normally in aqueous solution, DNA molecules produce a continuous sound. They create a complex melody with recurrent musical phrases. So I irradiate it with the ultrasound waves of the same frequency, as in diagnostic ultrasound. And what do I hear? Not a complex melody, but only one monotonous note. This means that by utilizing ultrasound, we've erased a massive amount of information from this DNA molecule, which could have been materialized through sound. Then I thought to myself, oh my God, we don't have any healthy kids left. I mean, literally, worldwide, there are no healthy kids now, because all of them, apart from those born in wild tribes, are exposed to medical ultrasonography. The work of DNA could be seen as that of the computer. But if you strike a computer with a hammer, then quite probably it'll start producing only one response to all of your queries. Pretty much the same happens in the human body when it's being deafened with ultrasound. Its wave matrices become deformed to such an extent that one frequency becomes prevalent. But that doesn't happen momentarily. At first, a DNA molecule undergoes a severe shock after being exposed to ultrasound. Then it comes round for a while, and finally it generates a wave phantom of pain and fear.